as if unaware of the danger, they eat, sleep and work right on the premises. These were upstanding people, specialists. I couldn't believe they would do something irresponsible or suicidal. No, it meant they'd underestimated the situation. The old criteria were no good anymore. There have been nuclear accidents before, in our country as well as in the US, but that information had been kept secret. There had never been an accident of this scope. They even thought the reactor would be back in service by May or June. Meanwhile, clouds filled with radioactive particles are being blown north by the wind. Between the 26th and the 27th of April, they drift over 1,000 kilometers above Russia, then over Belarusia and the Baltics. On the 28th, they hit Sweden, where the rise of radioactivity is detected near one of their nuclear power plants. Soon after, television news alerts the population. Radioactive dust from Chernobyl rains down on Stockholm. The authorities send a squadron of fighter planes to take readings in the clouds. The level of radioactivity suggests there's been a major accident somewhere. 60 hours after the disaster, still no official word has been reported outside of the Soviet Union. The uh, Swedish Minister of Energy phoned me on the Monday and I was in my office in Vienna and she told me that they had measured very much increased radioactivity near our power plant 